Hey, what is going on guys? It's Dark Knight here and today I have a Battlefront 2 review of the different heroes that I've played. Most of them are just the lightsaber wielding ones. I'm just basically going to go through their abilities and say which ones I think are good and which ones I think are not good. And let's start right off right now. First up, we have Rey. Rey is pretty bad in this game in my opinion. Her LB attack is a lightsaber charge, RB confuses enemies, and her LB and RB ability allows you to see nearby enemies. She also has the bullet deflect ability with LT. If you hold that down, you're going to deflect bullets shot at you. But overall, her damage is pretty low and her health is not great. So if someone gets a good shot on you, you don't really have anything able long range to get anyone. So if you're not in close, you're kind of screwed. And next up is Dark Maul. Dark Maul is one of my favorite of the um, dark side of the force, I guess, heroes. He has three different abilities that are all very useful. First off, his LB ability is a lightsaber throw that does pretty decent damage if it hits enemies. It has a little bit of bullet tracking and it does decent damage if you hit someone. Next up is his RB ability, which is um, a lightsaber charge. You run forward and like blast towards your enemies. And he can hold two of these at once, and when you hit an enemy with it, it does pretty significant damage. And then lastly, his LB and RB ability is a choke ability. Basically what this does is, well it's not really a choke, it's a force push ability. It'll throw enemies that are in front of you away from you and do pretty significant damage. Especially useful on the sides of the map, he's really good. Also, his LB ability has a little of a burst forward. This is pretty useful for getting close into enemies and being able to finish them off. And if you use him well and get close enough, he can do insane damage and just tear through the enemy lines. Next up, we have Yoda. Yoda is one of my favorite, favorite heroes in this game. He has three very unique abilities, and one of which is his LB and RB ability, which is unique to him, and that is he is able to heal himself. This is very useful because heroes usually don't heal themselves or get healed, so if you lose health, then you can choose his ability to gain it, and this allows you to stay alive a lot longer. Also, he has an RB ability, which you have two charges for, which is a lightning or a lightsaber burst forward, I guess. You just sprint forward and flail your lightsaber. And then he has an LB ability, which is a force ability. Basically, what this does is it knocks enemies and does significant damage to them, and you're just able to destroy them. Another thing he has is his LT, which is the deflection, which a lot of the uh, lightsaber wielding heroes have and this is useful because Yoda's very small and his hitbox is low, small as it is so even if you were going to hit Yoda he's able to deflect pretty much all of his body as opposed to some of the larger heroes even if they're deflecting you can still hit them in the legs but for Yoda he's so short and small that he pretty much deflects everywhere and he's really good at tearing up enemies And last but not least, we have Kylo Ren, which is probably the most overpowered character in either of the Battlefront games. First off, he shares the LT bullet block ability, and he is able to deflect bullets back at enemies. Next up, he has a ability, his LB ability, where you swing enemies towards you with your force power, and you can destroy them in the air with your lightsaber. And this is very useful because it takes out crowds, and you can use it to yank a bunch of people at you at once and just destroy them with one swing of the lightsaber and kill them. It also throws a lot of enemies off guard so if there's someone got a shot on you you can use that and it will allow them to not be able to fall through their kill. Next up is RB ability is a ability that allows him to freeze his target for a short period of time. This is useful to get close and finish off with the lightsaber. And it's really good at taking out enemies because you can stop them dead in your tracks. Lastly, he has an LB and RB ability, which is Frenzy. This basically allows him to go on a killing spree of 1 to 3 hits. And it can be really fatal and take out enemies. And it auto locks on enemies. So basically, if you are facing an enemy and you use it, he'll just keep striking. And you can get up to 3 kills at once with it. And Kylo Ren is very useful because he has 
such good close and far range abilities. Even if you're getting shot from a distance with most of the heroes like Ray, you can't really do anything except deflect and hope they can't hit you. But he can yank the enemies towards him to finish them off with the lightsaber or freeze them and get close enough to finish them off by himself with a melee attack. Another really useful combo that I've discovered is using the force pull ability, launching up enemies into the air, and then using the frenzy. This will allow you to kill all the enemies that you launch towards yourself in a pretty rapid succession, and it makes him one of the most overpowered characters in the game. That's about it for this video, guys. If you did enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe if you're new. More cult, uh, Battlefront 2 videos are coming out soon. I'm going to be starting the campaign and continue to play through this game, and I hope you guys enjoyed.